this thing that was in the vault that no one was supposed to open. Do we know what it is? Whatever is in that vault makes people into monsters, and I'm not going to be responsible for letting it out. Where is he? The vault, but he closed the security door. So open it. No, we can't. Only someone from the armory can. Why didn't you bring Enzo? I did. It's not as bad as you think. It only hurts at first. Where are you? You can't find it. You can't kill it. It's been alive for thousands of years. It can get in your head. And if it knows what you care about, or who you're trying to get back to, or well, you know what can happen. They bewitch everybody who approaches them. Now we consider flipping your switch, because if you care for nothing... There is no homecoming for the man who draws near them unawares. He can see nothing. What's down there? I think you can win against this thing? You can't. I don't really know. What does she want with you? As far as I can tell, she wants two loyal soldiers to keep bringing us supper. I didn't see what she looked like before she fed on the flesh of 87 victims. It was pretty. Something has control of her. You think sirens could be real? I'd say it was singing. The sirens lured the sailors into shore with their song before they ate them. How many more bodies till you fall? Sirens use mind control to lure their victims to their death. School of mind control. Our job is to bring the worst of humanity, the dregs of life, and bring them here. My mind is bonded to hers. So we'll break you free. There is no breaking free. There's no escaping her reach. Well, I guess she finally had enough to eat. What do you want from me? With their high clear song, the sirens bewitch you. No, I can hear her voice louder than ever. Her voice. So your theory is that Harvey was hearing an actual siren? I'm Sybil. So glad to oh. finally meet you. Nobody escapes me. Not ever. How are you disobeying me? That takes a lot of willpower. Boom. I can make you. I'm a lot tougher than I look. But it's excruciating. Pain. What did that woman do to you? She did something to guarantee that all my feelings were remain in the way. Anyone who loved you had to be siren to do so. You see a love that you didn't have to siren to someone into a love that isn't all about you. You're threatened. So naturally, you have to destroy it in the most sadistic game you can imagine. Aren't you even a little curious about who I am? No, actually. All I care about is how to save my brother. My brother's a lot stronger than you think. No, he's not. Hey, if Enzo can fight this, why can't you, Damon? Because it's pointless, Stefan. I'm just trying to stay alive. He and I both know what awaits us if we don't. Tell me a story. Well, fortunately, the answer to your question is a story. What kind of story? You like stories, don't you, Professor? Well, then you'll love this one. A long time ago, in a little Mediterranean village, there was a girl. As she came of age, the village girl began to manifest psychic abilities, a trait that had been forbidden in her land for as long as anyone could remember. I know you spent your life forgotten and abandoned, feared and hated. The fate of psychics was exile, which is how our poor, innocent, forsaken village girl ended up on a raft, the current carrying her into the rocks of a cold and distant shore. Abandoned though she was meant to be, alone she was not. There she met the girl of the island. Connected in psychic ability, two sisters in everything but blood. Now, despite enjoying each other's company, the girls had another constant companion hunger. She insisted the island would nourish them. And when it didn't, her faith was shaken. God did not provide. That was up to her sister. Because you chose this path. You kept luring ships into the rocks, killing for provisions. Call out to them with me. They will never hear us. Oh, did I forget to mention there are two of us? Raise your voice, and your mind will soar out to me. There were no provisions on the ships. Only sailors. Every single mythological interpretation of who I am mentions sirens, plural. Me in here and her out there. You knew this would happen. And so an innocent girl became a monster, all because her older sibling forced her to adopt her lifestyle. Sister, do not weep for them. All those years, my sister had tricked me into eating human flesh. Those sailors were from our village. Evil men would be forever punished for their wicked deeds. The same men who banished us here to die. Never again. One good sibling determined to live like a monk. If we cannot live off of what God has provided for us, then we are not meant to live at all. And one selfishly evil sibling 
willing to murder to satiate their hunger. Even if it meant killing and eating men to stay alive. When I learned the truth about what my sister had done for me, I threw myself off the cliffs. I didn't ask for any of this. God, you sound just like her. As I lay dying, I prayed for mercy, for love, for forgiveness. But God never answered me. Some say they're messengers of the devil. Kate had his revenge in some day. Because my sister, there is a price. So will we. Will do anything for me. Anything. She made a deal with Kate. Immortality, beauty, and youth for the two of us. I've seen you. Real you. Pool of blood you. Destined from that moment to one day become the sirens. If only we served our new lord and master. We feast on the flesh to keep us beautiful, and he collects the souls of the wicked. I tried so hard to be good. You're the one that turned me into a cannibal, and sold my soul into servitude, and then abandoned me for over a century. My sister forced this existence on me. Celine said you had to consent to be Kate's missionary. That's not what your story sounds like. I was dead. But even in death, Kate's psychic power reached into my soul and heard my screams for life. No one wants to die. In that moment, you'll agree to anything. 